Okay, so you are dealing with a lot of unresolved conflicts or issues that are going on. There's some things that you need to think through and, uh, you know, get to grips with that as well. I need to spend some time by yourself thinking through these problems that you're dealing with. So there's some issues uh, that, you, that need to come to light for you. So, you know, you need to sit and give it some good thought. There's peace and harmony coming in with you. So it looks like it is a relationship coming in because they've got that first date card over there. There's a new relationship coming in. You need to sort things out yourself, um, you know, uh, maybe, um, you know, so that you don't have uh, issues from the past coming in and, and um, you know, causing uh, issues in your present or current relationship if it comes in. There will be a lot of peace and harmony that comes in as well with this particular relationship. Uh, you're like two peas in a pod, so uh, if you and this particular person get along pretty well and you'll understand each other quite a bit. Now in the past, you've got that boredom and apathy card, feeling very, very restless, and it looks like you were looking or searching for a relationship and searching for happiness, and that's what you were hoping to come in over here. Now, whoever this person is, they make you very, very happy. Uh, they bring in a lot of clarity, a lot of enlightenment, uh, and you know, it's it might be a brand new relationship that's starting with, uh, that you're starting with. Uh, you need to spend a lot more time together, a lot more quality time together, in order for you to make this relationship grow. And you might be uh, romanticizing the past a bit too much, maybe thinking about an old relationship and comparing it to the current one. You need to let that go. Whatever energies were in the past, leave it in the past and focus on this new relationship. Um, and that will, uh, you know, and don't paint with the same brush as the old relationship. So don't bring issues from that old relationship into your current relationship. Uh, because, you know, whatever conflicts you have had in the past, you need to resolve it in your head uh, and see this as a brand new relationship. And, uh, you know, see this person as a new person, a different person with a different set of needs. Uh, and, and, and stop bringing in past relationships or past uh, things that happened in the past. Stop bringing it into this relationship. And make sure you are spending some time with each other. This will grow into something stable if you do that. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm going to be using the after tarot for the main read. So the bottom of the deck, you've got the Five of Swords over here. So it looks like, you know, there was an issue, uh, a separation that happened over there. It looks like, um, you know, uh, maybe the other person um, seems to have, uh, you know, won in that particular scenario. Um, you know, maybe they have taken advantage of you. They got the upper hand and you've had to walk away from that particular relationship. It could have been a legal separation because this is the Swords cards. This is about uh, a vindictive victory almost. And maybe they're gloating about, um, you know, having gotten the upper hand or having won in that particular situation. But it seems like you've had a lot of loss. You've had to leave things behind and walk away. Now, going into the, um, what's going on with you, you've got that uh, six of rods and there's the king of wands. So it looks like there's somebody that you admire quite a bit. Uh, you know, you have, uh, there might be a fire sign person as well, because you've got this king of wands energy over here. Uh, so this could be Aries Leo, Sagittarius energy coming in. And you've got that uh, vic um, six of wands over here. This is also that card of victory and, you know, achievement. Uh, and it looks like, you know, there's somebody that you have got your eye on that you're very, very um, uh, impressed with. Uh, with whatever they've achieved and uh, you know you're watching them and it looks like they might have noticed you and you have noticed them as well so this could be this energy of this fire sign person um, that um, you know you're very very sexually attracted to at this particular moment they seem to be somebody in a lot of authority and you like their energy or you like the dynam dynamics um, they seem to be in, uh, you know a very attractive very confident and very much in a leadership role, and you admire them quite a bit. You admire all the things that they have achieved. 
and very, very uh, attracted to them, uh, very physically attracted to them as well. So in the past, it seems like you have been trying to sort through a lot of problems and you were dealing with a lot of problems. It looks like you have had a helping hand, somebody there to give you uh, that support. Now, this could well be even this fire sign person that you are very, very attracted to. Maybe they're there to uh, help you deal with the problems or that, uh, you know, whatever you've been going through. Maybe they have gone through a similar kind of uh, uh, circumstance and that is why you can relate to them. They were, you know, this was an unexpected friendship that arose and it looks like they've come in there and you know you admire them quite a bit as well so it looks like there's some new friendship or partnership that has come in uh, to help you in this past year maybe you haven't it started off as a really good friendship and now it's beginning to um, you know blossom into something else now you have been spending a lot of time focusing on your work focusing on your independence and trying to establish yourself. You're very hands-on at whatever you do, but work seems to have been your major focus over there, and you're spending a lot of time by yourself as well. Um, you've got that uh, four of uh, rods over here, so it looks like you want uh, a relationship, or well, this has been playing on your mind, uh, that you want a relationship uh, you know, where you are, um, maybe you move in with this person or establish a home with this person, uh, and you know, maybe buying a home together. It looks like you want that marriage or you want that uh, long-term commitment with this particular person with that four of rods. Now, going to the future, you've got the Ace of Rods. So there is that new relationship coming in for you, and it is a very, very sexually based relationship. A lot of physical attraction going on over there with that Ace of Rods. So this particular relationship, uh, you know, that you are um, thinking about might actually progress into something uh, that turns out to be, uh, you know, um, an established relationship. It turns out to be something where you have uh, that physical uh, uh, relationship with this particular person over there. So there's a lot of attraction, a lot of passion going on over there. Now, you are still dealing with this tower moment. So this is what's going on with you. So whatever that relationship was in the past, you're still trying to get over it. It was very devastating. Uh, you know, it looks like there was a lot of loss. That relationship uh, seems to have completely broken down. There was a lot of arguments, fights, drama, a lot of crisis that went on. And a lot of truth came to light in that relationship. It seems like, you know, you're both thrown out of the tower there. So, uh, you know, maybe you all had set up home together as well. And it looks like all of that fell apart. Uh, there may have been a legal settlement as well to that relationship over here. Now, with the Ace of Swords, this is a breakthrough that is coming uh, in for you. Now, you can see this uh, falcon has got, um, you know, blinkers on over there. So, there might be something that you need to see, some information that needs to come to light. Uh, this could be a legal victory that comes in for you here with the Ace of Swords. But also, um, this is about you... Um, in order for you to get um, power or uh, control back of the situation, some kind of uh, information is being handed to you, some kind of power is being handed to you uh, so that you can get control of the situation. You're also cutting things off completely from the past here with this Ace of Swords. You're making new beginnings, fresh starts, uh, you know, severing ties completely, uh, cutting out communication as well uh, with people from the past. And it looks like you're going to be pursuing this new relationship, uh, you know, with a lot of enthusiasm. You are still focused on that uh, money or that work, and you are trying to establish your independence as well. You are afraid, uh, you know, that you won't have sufficient funds. Maybe money has been an issue. Maybe with the breakup, uh, you had a lot of financial loss. So you are very, very f worried about money, and you're worried about your independence as well. So the final outcome going into the future would be the Seven of uh, Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. Now with this uh, Seven of um, Swords, it's about you getting that help or getting an insight uh, that helps you cut ties with that particular situation completely. So where you, it's been trapping you, you know, all these thoughts have been playing around in your head and you've been feeling very stuck. Uh, you know, as though you can't really move out. It looks like somebody is coming in uh, to help you, to cut those ties. And maybe it's this new relationship that's going to be the thing that liberates you uh, from whatever you've been going through here. So, you know, whatever that, if you were going through this legal battle, it looks like everything is going to get sorted out. Somebody is going to give you some information, some message. Uh, but also, this is in the new relationship is the thing that might be the, um, that might be the thing that actually 
um, breaks the tie that you've had with that past relationship. It allows you to move forward. It liberates you uh, and liberates your mind and liberates and, you know, frees you from that kind of negative thinking as well. You've got the uh, four of uh, coins over here, and this is about, you know, cutting out all that ties that you've had with the past. So you've been clinging a lot to whatever it was that you had in the past. You still don't want to let it go. Uh, you know, you're still worried. Uh, you're still anxious about it. You've had financial loss that happened with it as well. You're worried about your money, worried about your uh, independence, uh, and you need to cut that out. Uh, you need to actually sever ties. You need to make a clean break from the past in order for you to move forward. And it looks like this new relationship will be the thing that helps you move forward. And it looks like, um, you know, uh, with the final outcome being the Ten of Pentacles here, um, if you do that, if you make cut ties uh, with the past, it looks like whatever relationship comes in is going to not only be uh, stable, it's going to be something that's financially lucrative, but it's going to be something that's long term and maybe you will have a family with this particular person, set up uh, you know, a home with this particular person, uh, you know, um, acquire assets with this particular person. So something good will end up coming out of this relationship. Uh, but you do need to make a clean break from that past and clean break from what you're clinging on to from that past. Whatever ties you have, you've got to cut it out. You've got this death coming in with this huge scythe over here. So it looks like you do need to make, uh, uh, you know, you have to um, uh, make, uh, take a stand and, uh, you know, go for it. Make that clean break. Um, because it looks like, you know, it, it's still causing a lot of chaos for you there. You're still dealing with the aftermath of what happened. You're still trying to cope with those emotions. And with that Ace of Swords, it's telling you, you, you do need to cut it out. You need to sever ties, cut communication with that person, let go, or, uh, you know, leave whatever it is that they have offered you behind and start something new that is going to, you know, if you start a new relationship, you'll be able to be grounded and, and produce a foundation and a long, a long term and a strong relationship will come out of this new relationship. So where it might start off as being in a very physical relationship, it looks like it might end up in marriage. It might look at Look, it looks like it might end up in a very long-term committed relationship. And this is what you want because you've got that four of rods over here. You want uh, to establish a good solid foundation with somebody. And it looks like if you let go of that past, that is going to come your way. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the Archangel Power Tarot. And you've got the six of Raphael over here. So embrace your inner child, new friends, rekindled relationships, children or childhood. So with the Six of Raphael, which is the Six of Cups, this particular person, you may have known them in the past. You may have worked with them in the past. It seems like it's a very good relationship. You'll share a lot of things in common over here. Uh, and, you know, you will be making, you know, uh, growing things together. So you will probably uh, end up having a relationship that is a very healing relationship. But, you know, there could be children that, um, you know, you have together or, or you share something uh, where you nurture it together. And it's going to be something that is really good. This person makes you feel uh, young again. It make, This person makes you f look at things with new eyes, fresh eyes. So you're going to be making a brand new start over here with a new, re you know, a new relationship. But it's a very good relationship and it's something that's going to be addressing all your needs as well. You've got the moon over there, so an opportunity to improve your plans. Listen to your intuition with accurate guidance and face your fears and grow stronger. So with the moon card, it's about confusion and not knowing what to do. Um, you need to follow your instincts. You are getting some spiritual messages coming in there. Uh, and, you know, address all your fears. Bring them out into the open. Uh, and, um, you know, if you're not sleeping well at night, this is a good time for you to get things off your chest as well with the moon card. And then the final card is the Ten of Raphael. Love and blessings fill your life, harmonious relationships with family members, happily ever after. So the Ten of Raphael is the end of all difficult situations that you're going through. And it looks like a new relationship that comes in for you is going to be a really good healing relationship. You've got that caduceus over there. Uh, and, you know, you can see this um, person carrying the other person on their back. So this person is going to be very supportive of you. And they understand you very, very uh, well, because you've got that six of Raphael, it's almost like you're linked with each other. 
you can see them sitting together over here. So, you know, they allow you to express your emotions, but they also understand your emotions as well. So let go of that past, begin this new relationship, and take a chance on it. You know, even if it starts off as something that's very physical, it's going. it looks like it might end up being something that is long term and very productive for you allow them to come in and give you a hand and let go of all those negative thinking you can see them helping you giving you truths maybe whatever they tell you might be difficult to hear but whatever they give to you whatever they tell you is going to be something that liberates you from the past and allows you to move forward so i hope that this reading has resonated with you please don't forget to like share subscribe and leave me some comments if it has and thank you so much